What's good? What's good? We back. Promo Palace LLC vlog 51. Um, I'm going to title this one 100,000 songs per day. 100,000 songs per day. Um, before I get into this vlog, though, I'm going to give you a word from one of our sponsors. Looking for music marketing and promotion? Then look no further than Promo Palace LLC, your one-stop shop for all music promotion services. Services include Spotify playlist pitching, YouTube video promotion, record pool promotion, blog placements, radio airplay promotion, SoundCloud promotion, and much more. With over 2,000 customers and over 10 years of experience in online promotion, Promo Palace LLC is a company you can trust. For more info, please go to promopalace.biz. See you there. That's right. You heard the beautiful lady. You need marketing promotion. Check us out, promopalace.biz, your one-stop shop. Um, I did a vlog before titled 60,000 Songs Per Day. So why am I doing vlog 51, um, 100,000 songs per day? Because the other day I got an uh, email from Musician Business uh, Worldwide or it's music business worldwide, one of those, musician business, music business worldwide. And they basically said that Spotify has now uploaded 100,000 songs in one day. Well, what does that mean? I mean, that means it's almost doubled. <laughs> it's probably going to double. That means it's harder for unsigned and independent artists uh, trying to come up. Um it means that any musician that thinks they shouldn't have to pay for marketing and promotions really got even more delusional. Really even got more delusional. I mean, let's think about this. 100,000 songs per day. So let me go over this, my laptop here. We're going to calculate that, right? Which I think is like, I think that's 3 million a month. Just want to be sure. You know, I'm not a mathematical genius, but we got 30 times 100,000. I mean, I think that's uh, 3 million. That's 3 million songs per month. If you think simply uploading music is going to stand out amongst 100,000 songs, per day I mean you're sadly mistaken now I see why even more now I'm seeing even more into why NBA Youngboy drops a music video every single week I'm seeing it um, and there's a freaking fly flying around here I swear to God I want to kill this joker but um, I'm seeing it now I'm seeing it like a hundred thousand songs per day. Um, like, like, just figure this out. Hold on, this. Like, how much is that? Like, per hour. That's four thousand one hundred and sixty-six songs. Per hour. That's a lot of music being uploaded per hour. Um, that's a lot. That's a lot. So, what would I suggest? <laughs> um, how about run some YouTube ads? Even if you got to run YouTube ads at the minimal for a dollar a day, like... I pretty much do for my um, businesses. You know, as long as you run that dollar a day, you're continuously, gradually getting eyeballs over and over again. If you can afford more than that dollar a day, then run more than that dollar a day. You can run $2 a day, $3 a day, whatever. If you can afford $100 a month, then run about $3 a day on YouTube ads. Um, Definitely, you need to be running some TikTok ads and paying TikTok influencers. And I would probably recommend that, number one. 
is running TikTok ads as a musician and paying TikTok influencers. Um, we also do it at Promo Palace LLC. We'll set up your YouTube ad because anybody can set up a YouTube ad. But um, do you know what keywords to target? We target trending keywords. We always, you know, and trending keywords change um, weekly, monthly, yearly, you know. So, yeah, you got to know the trends um, and whatnot. Got something in my eye. But um, so YouTube ads, I would recommend YouTube ads and actually pump up more content. That's the thing. That's another thing. 100,000 songs per day. That What does that also mean? That means you can't just solely rely on making music and uploading to streaming platforms. And most of you are only doing it every three or four months. Now you see why a cat like Russ was dropping a song every single week. And this is back when they were probably only uploading 40 to 60,000 songs per day. So now it's almost double. Now you had 100,000 songs per day. So you need to be running YouTube ads if you can afford them. You need to be running TikTok ads, um, paying TikTok influencers. You probably should be running Instagram ads, paying Instagram influencers. Um, Facebook ads wouldn't help either. And, of course, you could advertise on Facebook, which I advertise on both Facebook and Instagram. Um, do I recommend Spotify ads? Um, maybe the new marquee promotion, which I haven't tested out yet because you have to, um, an artist has to have a certain amount of listeners per month to even advertise on a marquee. I just know that, um, Spotify is lower than minimal from like 200 to a hundred, um, dollars minimal to start a campaign. But I think on TikTok, you can run like. Ten twenty dollars, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I know on Instagram you can, Facebook you can, YouTube you can. Of course, on YouTube you want to, like I said, you want to advertise at least the minimal a dollar a day, thirty dollars a month, if you can afford it. And if you can't afford it, then you need to get an investor because you're in the wrong business. Like this business requires a lot of money to make it. You got cats like Murray who had probably a quarter of a million put in behind him and. Yeah, he's got a hit record, but he's struggling, you know? So 100,000 songs per day. What does that mean? That means you uh, you got to advertise more. You got to pump out more music. You got to create more content on your social media accounts. You should be creating three to four posts a day, minimal, on Instagram, on Facebook, on TikTok, on Twitter, whatever it is. You know, and you could be advertising on Twitter as well, even though I'm not big on advertising on Twitter, but things are probably going to change on Twitter very, very soon with Elon taking over. So I'm very interested on that. So what do we got? You need to be YouTube ads um, and paying influencers if possible. Um, TikTok ads and influencers, Instagram ads and influencers, um, Facebook ads and influencers if you got it, because there is Facebook influencers, like people who have big Facebook groups or, or fan pages that they promote musical co content on. Um, I mean, you need to be doing everything you can. Blogs, advertising on blogs. Uh, you need to be dropping press releases for every time you drop a song and anything big you do. Um, and I think in general, a big issue is artists don't create enough content past the music. Like, if you want to be big on social media and big online, then you pretty much have to be a reality TV show. You need to put your life out there, you know, and not to the sense where, you know, people are getting, like, shot and killed like P&B Rock, you know, and whatnot. But um, you do need to put it out there, you know what I'm saying? Your life, um, like, anytime you write into a new beat, record, you know, video footage, uh, freestyling, um, interviewing, uh, any interviews, uh, whatever, any, you need to get visual content of any and everything you can as a musician on the way to the interview, on the way to a show. Um, if you do a show video content, 
Um, you know, anytime fans come up and to you, you know, show support, video content, like all these things matter. You know, any kind of antics you do, video content, you know. Like I did a TikTok the other day where it was um, Fred Bang, you know, basically just that's the thing. These cats understand these these cats understand they got to create content and they're getting paid so much damn money to create content, you know, because now you can monetize everything. Your YouTube, the TikToks when it gets to a certain point, Instagrams, the face, they can monetize everything. As celebrities, it doesn't matter what kind of entertainment aspect you are. You can monetize it once your accounts get to a certain point, you know, so you need to be advertising and advertising as much as possible. If you're not advertising, you're just relying on free submissions, then um, that's the most wishful thinking. Nobody's breaking music off of free submissions only. It's not happening. If you think you could free submission your way in a radio, it's not happening. You got to pay somebody thousands of dollars to work radio. You know, um, let's look at playlisting. Uh, you got to submit to Spotify directly to the editorials. You got to pre-release it four weeks ahead of time. Um, I'm a, I'm gonna argue at with a hundred thousand songs per day now. You probably got to pre-release it six weeks ahead of time. Six weeks ahead of time, I'm going to argue. Now that it went from 60000 a day to 100000 that's a 40000 increase. 40000 increase. And it's literally a 66% increase from the 60,000 60, songs per day. You know, 40000 to 60000 is pretty much 66%. So that's a 66% increase on how many songs are being uploaded on the daily. So I would argue that the pre-release time, you might want to push it even further because they can't listen to 100,000 songs per day. There's no company on the planet that could listen to 100,000 songs per day. Even at 30 seconds, like let's say they only listen to 30 seconds. All right, well, let's, let's, let's look this up. Let's calculate 100,000 times. Wait, yeah, yeah, that's like 3 million seconds. 3 million seconds. It's not 3 million seconds in a day. You know? You figure that 60 seconds in every minute is 60 minutes in every hour. So... You figure it. 60 times. I mean, it's, so there's 1,440 minutes in a, um, a day, but you need 3 million seconds to listen to music. Yeah, I'm going to argue that the pre-release dates are going to be going back even going up even higher. The, the, right now, it's like four weeks three on Spotify, three weeks on Apple. I'm going to argue that you're going to be pushing more for five or six weeks just because they can't listen to that much music in a day. And even if they don't change the pre-release, the distributors don't change it, they're just not thinking with common sense and thinking smart enough. When you have a 66% increase on how many songs are being uploaded to a platform – and they got the same amount of employees, there's no way they're going to be able to listen to that much music in a day. I would argue that they're probably only picking and choosing what submissions they listen to nowadays. I would argue they're probably just not even listening to anybody they don't know hardly nowadays. You know? Um, yeah, things are going to be rougher for artists. It's you thought it was oversaturated before. It's highly oversaturated now. It still went up sixty six percent. Now I got to change my website from sixty thousand songs per day to a hundred thousand songs per day, you know. And I gotta even push my clients even more and let them know, like, look, man, 
That's why I think I'm even come up with new packages of like yearly ads to try to get these people on commitments, like to pay for a whole year of ads. And I run the ad for a whole year for them because, you know, you either got to be have a, a ton of a, a ton of money into a marketing budget. Or you got to take what you can afford and, and put it in a gradual growth. And fan base is gradual growth any way you look at it, whether you got a ton of money or not. The fans come in gradually. They don't all come in at once, you know. And that's the thing. I would argue that a cat like Murray, who's from my city, who had about a quarter million put into him, I would argue that he doesn't have the fans that he thinks he has based on his views on YouTube. Um and you always got to remember that no matter how many f- fans or followers you got on your social media accounts, only usually like 10 to 20% of those are engaging. And those are the real, real fanatics and the real fans. So if you got 300,000 subscribers, you might only have 30,000 to 60,000 that actually engage with every single video, which is a big difference from what people are thinking. So, yeah, uh, 100,000 songs per day. You better be doing some YouTube ads, some TikTok ads, plus influencers, Instagram ads, plus influencers, Facebook ads, plus influencers. Um, What am I missing out? Uh, Instagram ads, influencers, um, Spotify. uh, I mean, not Spotify, but Spotify marquee ads if you've reached to that point probably. I mean, if you got budget to do all these things across the board, they're doing them across the board. Um, blogs also help. Press releases as a help. Because, like, that's the thing. You're not getting picked up by none of these editorial big playlists without these press releases, without these blogs, you know. So you can't just release the music. That's the thing. You can't just release the music. There's so much more that goes in. People got to know the music's been, you know, out there. That's what press releases are for. That's why you do a press release, you know, before you drop the music and you do a press release when you drop the music, you know. You definitely need a good following of blogs to be able to just pitch to that, pick it up, you know. If not, you need to go to a company that submits them for you, you know what I'm saying, or can get you some guaranteed blog placements. Well, I don't recommend paying. If you're going to pay for placements, just pay for ads. You don't pay for placements, pay for ads. And that's the thing. Enough of y'all ain't advertising on the daily. You're not even advertising on the daily while there's 100,000 songs being put out every single day. You're putting out a song once every three to four months, and you act like just uploading it is going to compete with 100,000 songs per day and 3,000 a month. I'm, you're sadly mistaken. You're delusional, man. So delusional. You're talking about a super oversaturated business. I don't know a business as oversaturated as the music business right now. When you're talking about competition, there isn't a hundred thousand, like, like, like there isn't a hundred thousand pizza joints out there that are competing. They just ain't. You got Domino's, Papa John's, Pizza Hut, Little Caesars. Those are the top four. And the mom and pop, all every other mom and pops out there is compete with those four. But not with music, man. There's just so so oversaturation. So 100,000 songs per day, if you ain't advertising on a daily. Um, I got a question how serious you are about making it in this business. Um, how serious you are about this being a business. How much do you know about that? I got to question everything about, about you. Do you even know it's a business, you know? And that's the thing. There's people trying to make it in this business that don't even really know it's a business. They think it's like a charity event, like it's a lot, like it's a lottery, you know, and whatnot. So, yeah, Vlog 51, 100,000 songs per day. Um, if you think you're just going to simply upload music, you better already have a ton of fans already in place already following, already engaging, because if not, it's just wishful thinking, man. It's wishful thinking. It's delusional. It's not a reality. Um, All these cats winning. I saw a post on Facebook one day from one of my clients. He said, the most talented, the, um, the artists that are making it are not the most talented. 
They're just the artists that figured out marketing and promotions and advertising. And that is totally true. And they're not afraid to ha spend money on marketing and advertising and promotions. So, yeah. Once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. My name is Paul Piggott. This is Promo Palace LLC. This is Vlog 51, 100,000 songs per day. Peace and out.